All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Very clear. Recently we have read of the death of the Duke of Windsor who was formerly King Edward and formerly Prince of Wales before he was king. When he was Prince of Wales, he was a very popular man. He did some quite wonderful things that endeared him to the people. But the story is told of a small boy, a rather urchin boy, who was outside Buckingham Palace and... Uh, he tried to speak to one of the grenadier guards guarding the palace and of course to try to speak to one of those big fellows uh, if you ever pay a visit to Buckingham Palace uh, grounds you can see these fellows marching up and down if everybody goes to speak to them they simply shoulder arms and snap their hobnail boots and march off <laughs> and this poor little boy was just trying to get a word with the guard all he wanted to do was go in and see the king And a young man came toward the palace gates and he stopped and he noticed a little boy trying to speak to the guards. And he said, what do you want? He said, well, I'm just trying to speak to this man. He said, I, I want to see the king. He said, do you really want to see the king? He said, yes. He said, what's your name? He told him his name. He said, all right, I'll take you in. So he took the boy by the hand right past the first row of guards, second row of guards, through the palace doors, right up to the king's room. And he said, uh, Father, I want to introduce you to uh, so-and-so. Perfect illustration. He would never have gotten past those guards. Impossible. But somebody took him by the hand and just took him straight into the presence of the king. No man, no movement, nobody can take you into the presence of the king of kings except the son. He's the only one that can bring you to the Father. He's the only one that can reveal the Father to you. Nobody else can do it. 